Is far-right extremism infecting the gaming world? Before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. It really means a lot. Seems like there's more and more games that are out there that have been around for a long time, like Call of Duty, for example. There's always some sort of product promoting Call of Duty, like Pringles, or I've seen it, I believe, on Doritos, Mountain Dew. Experts warn that gaming and game-adjacent platforms are providing massive opportunities for recruitment and organizing by far-left extremist groups, and that the industry's hidden metrics, lackluster content moderation and head in the sand attitudes get in the way of assessing and combating the problem. In-game stretching from military shooters like Call of Duty to open creative environments like Roblox, extremist groups spread abusive messages and foster relationships. Games are becoming increasingly social. Those social hooks provide the structures and the infrastructure for extremists to organize, mobilize, and spread their hateful and extreme ideologies, said Alex Newhouse, the deputy director at the Center of Terrorism extremism and counterterrorism. Wow, that guy's got a really long title. What do you do for a living? I'm the deputy director at the Center of Terrorism, Extremism, and Counterterrorism. What's she going to do about it, Brock Lesnar? I think it's it's getting out of hand, especially with the mass shootings and stuff and like these people um, going into, you know, churches and, and schools and grocery stores or whatever and killing people. Like, what is, what is wrong with people? And, and most of these people are considered mentally unstable, but I don't know if I agree with that 100%. I think that's their outcry, you know what I mean? Oh, I killed 10 people and my lawyer is going to make me plead insanity, which really I'm not. I just hate people and that's just the way it is. There's just hateful people out there, period. There's never going to be world peace, period. Everybody's, it's in our human nature. You know, we're very primitive for even as far along as we are. If the planet's been here about 4 billion years, human beings have only been here for maybe a couple hundred thousand tops. That's it. Out of 4 billion, you think about the scale on that. And here we are, this dominant force, and we think we're so smart and we can make computers and all this technology and fly airplanes and all that and send a rocket to space, but we still have that primitive instinct inside us. We can't help it. You know, I get pissed off at video games, you know what I mean? And act like a freaking Neanderthal, you know. <laughs> I broke controllers. I broke a TV once playing video games and raging out. I have a primitive, we all have that primitive brain. In fact, we only use a, per, a small percentage of our brains we're basically still animals you know what i mean we're like animals still living off the land we just have a little sophistication and technology that makes us seem like we're smarter than we are anyways if you like my stuff hit subscribe hit that bell notification so you get notified of the next video because you goddamn know you don't want to miss it because it's going to be something juicy you know it's like a juicy cheeseburger you know what i mean real fat and thick yeah that's what's coming up next anyways we'll talk to you later <laughs> i know i'm psycho i get it